Hey, ratty dog, what's up? <laughs> Russ Godfrey, the ratty dog, here. Oh, man. I'm out late. It's, what, like 2 o'clock. And I am just now getting a walk in. But I got to get it in. Got to get it in. Don't matter what time of day it is. That's the thing, guys. Get it in when you can get it in. A lot of guys get up 5 o'clock in the morning to get it in. Not this old ratty dog. I usually get it in after I take my kid to school. Addison, uh, we get her to school about 8.30. And that's when I'll do my, get my walk in before I start working on my entree stuff. Uh-oh. My gate's open. The dog is going to get out to close his gate. He likes to run up and down the fence. You ought to see this crazy dog running up and down the fence. He sees this gate open. He won't know what to think. He'll go, oh, I'll go with Dad. You see him down there. Well, maybe not. He's back over there. Right over there somewhere. Anyway. All right, here we go. Beautiful day again. Little wind, it's about 65, maybe 70 degrees. Just awesome. I'm gonna walk down through here. See if you guys can hang with me. I think I'm finally clearing this COVID crap. This will be my eighth co post COVID walk vid. And, uh, a little spring in my step today. I feel pretty good. Maybe I'm finally getting over this crap. I hope so. Still, I don't know if a lot of you guys had a uh, runny nose. I've had like a runny nose, man. I just, I'm blowing my nose all the freaking time. And I'm thirsty. I cannot get enough water. I bet I drink 10, 12. 16 ounce bottles of water a day and I'm still thirsty. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's, you know, my lungs trying to heal. Guys, let me know. Uh, put some comments in here and let me know what, what uh, if you guys have had this similar thing, you know, runny nose and uh, thirsty. I mean, I just cannot get enough water. It's crazy. So, when I go on my walks, I bring, I've got a bottle of water in my pocket, but I chew gum, and that helps keep the cotton mouth away, and uh, helps quite a bit, but uh, anyway, that's, it's getting, I don't know, that, that has never gone away, I mean, I was doing that in the midst of COVID, I just could not get enough water, and now after, post-COVID, and it's been, today's 15th, November 15th. And uh, I'm still just thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. I've had about, I guess I've had probably, I'm about three weeks post-COVID. And I really, today is the first day, actually yesterday, I hung out some Christmas lights yesterday. My wife was so thrilled. She comes home and, of course, it's dark. And she sees all the Christmas lights. She... I always go out and meet her, the dogs, our dog, we got four dogs, and the dogs go crazy when she pulls up, so I got to open the door and let them out to go see mama, and uh, <laughs> she was, got out of her car and was clapping for me, gave me a standing ovation for putting up Christmas lights, she didn't think she's going to get any this year, so it worked out pretty good, but uh, anyway, what I know about that. So, and it felt good. I got out there and I hung quite a few Christmas lights. And it really felt good to get out and get some physical activity in, except besides just walking. So, anyway, I'm hope I'm I think I'm over the hump now. Whew, today was my weigh-in day, and I kind of I missed my weigh-in day. I, mean, I hadn't been weighing because I month and a half I've been down with COVID I hadn't even thought about weighing Mondays you know I do Weight Watchers as you guys all know 
and uh, I hadn't real. I just now, about a week ago, started tracking my weight again and tracking my not my weight, tracking my food again, and uh, so and uh, I, I've gained back about ten, possibly twelve pounds of the twenty that I'd lost. And I think that's why I'm feeling better because I, I was just so weak from losing that weight so quickly. I want to lose it on my own. I don't want <laughs> to lose 20 pounds from being sick. That's an awful, awful feeling. Anyway. We're walking down through the neighborhood here. Just, I guess he didn't even see me walking here. He damn near run over me. He was texting. Gotta pay attention, guys. These people out here, it's insane. Just this morning, taking Addison to school, had a green light, and uh, people have already gone through the intersection. Two cars ahead of me went through the intersection. Here comes this guy turning in front of me. I mean, if I wasn't paying attention, I'd have just slammed right into him. Idiot. And guess what? Texting. Just crazy. People have got to start paying attention to their driving. How many people have been killed by the texting and driving stuff? I don't make it where you can't text and drive. Put something in your car that interrupts texting. I don't know. I guess that's a personal responsibility thing. Anyway, anyway, here I am. I'm walking. And uh, I'm going to take my walk here. Whoo, I'll get over to the park. I guess it's 2 o'clock now. I've been walking about 10 minutes, I guess. I'll pick you. Actually, I can see a little timer on my phone here. Oh, 7 point, 7 minutes, 18, 20 seconds, 21 seconds. So I'm not quite into but what I do is I gotta go get I'm gonna go over to the park across from my buddy's house and I'll stretch and do some things there and then when I'm done there I'll head back to the house and uh, I'm just right now all I'm doing is high rep single set 30 you know 20 I do these 21s and you can do 21s on any body part you can do them on squats you can do them on lunges you know you just go halfway down and come back up and then and then uh, a little further down and come back up and then you go to your full motion and come back up and uh, shoot they work that's a full you can get a heck of a workout using that 21s method. It's in my course. You guys will see it in my course, the Senior Fitness Revolution course. I've got a, a uh, one of the modules is how to do 21s. I do it with bicep curls, but you can do it with tricep curls. You can do it with tricep curls, tricep extensions. You can do it with bench press. I use dumbbell dumbbells for bench or for chest. But uh, you can do it in there with that. So, anyway, beautiful blue sky. Look at that sky. Look at that sky. Just gorgeous. <sighs> Neighborhood's pretty. Trees have pretty much turned. There's a tree right there that hasn't turned yet. What's up with that? Late. Late to the party, most trees have changed or have lost most of their leaves now. So, Whew. yeah, doing a hanging Christmas lights yesterday. I did several projects around the house that needed to get done. I straightened up a bush that was falling over. And Dug, dug in the ground, you know, to get that done. And I uh, dug out storage. Oh, I got tons of Christmas lights. We just, we always do a real pretty display for Christmas. And this year, my wife 
kept asking me, are you gonna be able to do it? You gonna be able to do it? And my son offered to help. So I decided, yeah, let's do some yesterday. And he come, on, he came over on Saturday and hung quite a few. And I thought, well, I'm just gonna, he, you know, help me with that. And, and uh, so I just kind of expanded on what he did. Didn't have to really get up and down the ladder much. Just put stuff up around the shrubs and along the walls. And anyway, it looks cool. As long as the boss is okay with it and is applauding me, then I'm okay with it. <laughs> Thought maybe she'd come home and say, oh, wait a minute, you should have put some over here or some over here. But she didn't. She was just thrilled to get some. So. <clears throat> Anyway, there's some trees that are kind of pretty, and this one here is kind of pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All these trees. This one here is my favorite out here. I just love this thing. Kind of a pine tree, but not really. I don't know what that is. It looks like a maybe a cross between a cedar and a pine. Really pretty, though. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, I'm getting warmed up. Getting my breath back. Getting my dad got on breath back. Ain't nothing. That is the worst feeling in the world not to be able to take a full breath. So I'm I'm up to full breaths now. And uh, walk down through the neighborhood. It's such a quiet, nice, quiet neighborhood. Oh, here's a pretty tree. Look at that one. That's pretty. It's got multicolors on it. Really pretty. I picked up my pace pretty good today. Feeling good, guys. I hope you guys are feeling good, too. I hope anybody who got this COVID stuff or, that, or anybody who's sick or not feeling good, you know what makes you feel better? And it's kind of tough at first. Get out and walk. Get out and walk, and it don't matter if it's cold, bundle up. And you know what? Once you start walking, you'll be able to unbundle some because you're creating body heat and getting your muscles moving. Anyway, it's just really important. As we get older, even for younger people, sedentary lifestyle will kill you. It is a killer. People have to move. Our bodies are designed to move. That's why we have muscles. They're designed to be used and utilized. Anyway, I am almost to the park here. I'm going to walk you guys up to the corner before I make my turn to the park. And then I'll let you go. But uh, Senior Fitness Revolution is coming along, guys. I am uh, having a meeting with the editor tonight about it. We're going to be looking at uh, different things, and uh, it's coming right along. I'm, I'm excited, and uh, it's going to help a lot of people. A lot of people just like me and just like you who are trying to figure out how they can get, this, get the weight off and get back into health. And it's a pretty simple formula. You got to move. You got to exercise. And you got to watch what you put in your pie hole. That's it. It's very simple. But, you know, people get out like me. Look at me. I got out of the habit. I jump in and out of that habit. But once you stay consistent and you create and develop a daily habit, a daily routine, it's gold. And you can do it. Everybody can do it. It is definitely doable. I'm living proof of that. 70 pounds I have lost since November last year. Yes, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. 13 months, 70 pounds in a year. A little over. Not bad. And that's, that was starting gradually. I didn't even find, I use this Weight Watcher app. 
I didn't even find a Weight Watchers app because I knew I had to do something to modify my diet and track what I was eating. And that is the simplest program out there to help you moderate and, and track what you're putting in your mouth. You don't even realize, or I didn't, I was real honest. I said, okay, I'm going to track that. And I was supposed to get 31 points a day. But uh, when you eat stuff that's not good for you, like potatoes and bread and cookies and cake and all that stuff, that uh, you get to 31 points before you even had your first meal. <laughs> but if you eat right, vegetables, chicken, lean protein, you can get a whole day and you can eat very well on 31 points. I figured that out and it's easy to do. Many times I have leftover food, leftover points that that roll into a, a weekly total that I can use on my Saturday, my Saturday splurge meal. I go on Saturdays is my splurge day. I eat whatever I want on Saturdays. I'll eat big bowl of cereal in the morning and uh, like, you know, not fruit loops or any of the sugary cereal, be like high fiber type raisin bran, stuff like that. And then for lunch, whatever I want, I don't care. But you know, the thing is, I'm in such a habit of eating good that I don't really, I, I still eat on my plan because I'm just used to it and I like it. I like what I eat and I have plenty of it at the house. I bought these, uh, these whole wheat, high fiber, stone ground tortillas. I can't think of the name, brand name, but they are just awesome. And I got uh, real lean deli lunch meat, ham, turkey, and chicken. And I'll take these thin slices and these, and I've done the point value on these, zero points. I can have 10, 12 slices of zero points in the Weight Watcher system. Pretty cool. So, and the tortilla is one point. And then I'll, I'll uh, lay that tortilla out and I'll layer in some turkey, ham, chicken, maybe 10, 12 slices. So it's a nice thick slab of meat. Put some mustard on it. I'll throw some leaf lettuce and one or two stalks of celery. And I've got these little grape tomatoes. I'll throw in there and then roll it up. Man, it is good. It is really good. I'll have some baked leaves, but and that whole thing that I just told you, I'll roll it up. It's only one point. And then something else Weight Watchers started doing, they give you extra points for eating fresh vegetables. They kind of reward you for eating fresh vegetables, servings. So the grape tomatoes, the lettuce, and the celery, that gave me two extra points. And you it's got a real easy way to add them up. You just hit a plus sign by vegetables at the top of your app and it throws those extra points on your daily total so it rewards you for eating good food really cool anyway i'll roll that up makes a good good meal and then i'll have some baked lays potato chips which is a bag of baked lays is like four points it's only two points less than uh than regular potato chips but hey save those points pretty good I've got uh, here when I get back I'll get my exercise in and I'll drink a protein shake and that protein shake is I think two three four points because I use water I don't use milk and it has it's a whey protein so you get some some milk and then I add one of these 30 grams of protein chocolate shakes to give it some extra flavor and uh, it's good and thick and satisfying and I ate that as my post-workout uh, protein supplement and then later on I'll have my dinner and I'll same thing I'll eat that uh, oh something else I do you guys ever eat these steamable vegetables those are so awesome they've got broccoli they've got uh, 
Brussels sprouts. I ate these Brussels sprouts last night with my roll up with my tortilla sandwich thing. No points. No points at all. All fresh vegetables or cooked vegetables are zero points. And let, now, if you throw butter on them and, and oil on them or whatever, yeah, you're going to have points in the butter and the oil. Pretty high. But if you just eat them straight out of the steamer bag, onto your plate, I put salt and pepper on them. Put that for flavor, maybe some Lowry's or something. But uh, I'll put a lot of points in them. Really good. Really good. Anyway, we got some police officers here. I don't know what's going on in the neighborhood. Anyway, whoo! Okay, I've got a good pace going. Really good pace going. I can give this police officer plenty around here. in the neighborhood. I wonder what happened there. We usually don't see police in here. There he is behind me. There was another one just left the scene. Whew, hope everything's all right. Whew. Anyway, I, uh, I am, I made the turn. I'm headed back. Did my stretches. Nothing crazy today. Ooh, I'm 20 minutes in. For some reason my Fitbit isn't working. It's not calculating my my walk or my heart rate. I don't know why. Yeah, it's doing my heart rate. Hundred eight heart rate. Hundred eight. Don't be late on that heart rate. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling better. Can you tell? I'm joking around a little bit. <laughs> ah! Feels good to be feeling good again, man. Oh, I didn't think I was ever gonna get over that crap. But here we are, making our way. I don't even know. I think to the park and back is about two miles. So, and I went. I go around the entire neighborhood it's just under three miles so yeah I bet it's about two miles I'll figure that out but hey start back got to build up slowly got to build up slow and uh, work it out build up slow and I'm gonna get back to where I was I'm determined to get back where I was doing my hit training jog, walk, jog, sprint training. I love that. God, that was feeling so good. I just started it too. And I think I did a, did a minute about it, but yeah, that feels great. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not lifting heavy weight. If I want to get an extra bit of exercise in, I'll do an extra set, high rep extra set, or I'll add a little weight and do a, do a, you know, a couple of low rep heavy weight. When I've got 50, from 10 all the way to 50 pound dumbbells, that's plenty. That's more than I really need. I very rarely use the 50s. I was starting to use them more for bench flies and stuff, but uh, just really don't even need, don't need it. I already had shoulder so rotor cuff bicep tendon surgery. I don't want to have that surgery again. So I'm careful. I don't want to back myself up on my recovery. So, you know, and again, a lot of guys, here's what a lot of guys do. They get out here and they get overzealous and they do too much too quick and they end up hurting themselves or well, they end up getting so sore that they can't move and then they give up and then they quit. Don't do that guys, start slow. Build yourself up. Be patient with yourself. Be patient. Give yourself some grace. And you know, doing these videos, it kind of helps me be accountable to myself, really. Because I, I am building up slowly. 
and, and I tried. I did go out, I think, last Monday, the first whew, first time I tried to get out. I did a kind of a walk-jog thing, and I jogged some, and I shouldn't have because it, it put me where I couldn't do anything again for three days. I didn't go back out and walk, and I, I think, until Thursday because it just wore me out. I just wasn't ready for it. Could have very easily stopped right there and said, oh, body's not ready, let's just quit. But I didn't. I, I walked a little bit. My little girl, you know, she wants to go for walks and bike rides. And I hadn't been able to, but now we went for a bike ride last night, I think. And uh, it felt really good. Now, it's fun talking to you guys. I enjoy it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my stories and listen to me talk and prattle on as I do these walks. And I uh, hope, hope you're seeing some value in it. I hope you'll leave me some comments as to, like I said, to your, you know, subscribe, comment, share, like my channel. And let me know what you think about what I'm putting up, okay? I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I am working with Entra to build out. And I'm working with a coach there. And he's helping me build out this, this uh, Senior Fitness Revolution course. And uh, it's just been great to have that extra guidance. If you guys are looking for something to do, are looking for a way to make money beyond a nine to five go make your wage and make your paycheck way to make good money is check out entre institute check it out i've got a link down below and i would say go in and do the blueprint just run through it i guarantee you you'll find something for yourself i certainly did and i'm enjoying it man it's so much fun to learn something new you know i I owned my own business for 30 years, sold it last June, and I kind of got into a, doing the same thing over and over again. You, you do that when you go 30 years. I'd, I'd jump out and do some new marketing campaign or we'd, you know, develop a new product or something. That's I love doing that stuff. I'm the vision guy, you know. I'm not the implementer guy. I hired guys to do all the internet stuff and the advertising and stuff like that. Whew, the tech stuff, I guess. It's, I'm Mr. Low Tech. <laughs> but I'm, I'm having to learn this stuff. And uh, so I can get this course built. Entre even has a platform called EntreSoft where you can build out an agency. You can build out an affiliate marketing program. And learn that. Now, or you can do what they call uh, online education courses. And me, for me, that was me. That was my calling because I love helping people. I love doing physical things. And um, that's I, I want people to, I want to help people get back in shape. I help people with their health. And that's, that's what I felt like was my genuine calling and my, what they call your niche of people you want to help. And mine is men, 50 to 70, I guess, is kind of the range. And uh, it's working out pretty good. All right, I'm back at the house. Okay, get the gate open. Watch for my crazy dogs. And they're not around good. Close that gate. Don't be late. Close and there it goes. All right. Okay. Now, 
here we are. Back at Man World. There's my house and my pool house there. Trees are just beautiful. Everything is green. You know, still green. It's amazing. Just now starting to get brown and leaves are turning. And <clears throat> just gorgeous out here. Just gorgeous. There's the dog house. Oh! <laughs> Anyway, here we are. Okay, guys, listen. Listen. Today is a one of a kind. You all know that. <sighs> that breath I just took, I'm never getting it back. And neither are you. Let's make today count, guys, all right? I'm going to. All right, guys. God bless.